Welcome to another Cloud or Not Plus video. My name is Michael and today I will talk to you about um, IP version 6 on AWS using EC2 instances. So the network topology I'm going to use here is um, a two zone topology with public and private subnets. So you know those concepts already from the IP version 4 world, right? But a couple of things change if we switch to IP version 6. So the first thing that we have to enable is we have to uh, allocate an IP version 6 address block for our VPC. And the next thing, and uh, this is always a slash 56 block, so that's allocated by AWS to us. We cannot uh, modify this block anymore as with IP version 4. The next thing is for each subnet, we also allocate an IP version 6 block and those are always slash 64 blocks. So we cannot change this as well, as, but they have to be a subset of uh, the address range from our VPC. And that's what we have to do to enable IP version 6 on the VPC layer. What we also do is we add a internet gateway and the public uh, subnets get a route to the internet gateway to communicate to the internet and also to receive packets from the internet. And for the private subnets, we use a new concept called a ecrase only internet gateway. And as the name implies, this is only for talking from your subnet to the internet, but not the other way around. So you cannot access those subnets from the internet. So that's the setup that we have. And I will show you the setup here in a minute in the UI. And what I'm going to do is I will deploy four EC2 instances in those subnets. So I will deploy two instances into the public uh, subnet A, I deploy one in public subnet B, and I also deploy one in the private subnet to show you a little bit how you can actually communicate between them and what the, inter what the egress uh, only gateway actually does. So let me switch to um, the AWS UI here and then we will start exploring um, the setup. So let me switch to the VPC service. Okay, so I select the VPC that I created for this demo and we will quickly look at the subnets. Um, or no, let me continue, uh, let me uh, go back to the, the VPC. So, okay, this is our um, VPC. And as you can see, it has an IP version 6 address range, a slash 56 address range. So that's allocated by AWS. So you can just get one of those slash 56 address ranges from AWS. And that's for your um, I, uh, for your VPC. It's a global unicast um, IP address range. So now we are going to look into the subnets. So as I mentioned, I have these two, uh, sub, uh, two zones, A and B. And within each zone, I have a public and a private subnet. So let's start with the A zone and the uh, public one. So looking at um, the route table here, and I'm going to increase this slightly. So we see a couple of um, routes here. So the first thing that you have to understand uh, is also that an VPC is always a, like if you enable IP version 6, IP version 4 is still there. So it's a dual stack setup. So there isn't a way to create an IP version 6 only network at the moment in AWS. So what you see in the route table is um, the first um, default route. So that makes sure that each subnet can talk to each subnet. It's automatically deployed by AWS. That's also, also deployed automatically by AWS for the IP version 6 subnet. So the subnets are by default routed. Um, so that um, doesn't change. And for IP version 4, we have a route to the internet gateway. And we have also a route for IP version 6 to the internet gateway. So the only thing that really changes here is that the address, uh, the address notation, um, the address range notation here is different um, for IP version 6 than for IP version 4. But with this setup, you are now able to uh, contact, uh, talk to the internet and also get contacted from someone on the internet in the public um, uh, subnet. So let's switch into the private subnet. So here things change a little bit. So what we have is again, the two uh, default routes that are created by AWS automatically that we cannot change. And then I created uh, only for IP version 6, a route to the internet at the egress only gateway. So this allows me to talk to the internet, but no one from the internet can uh, uh, initiate a request to uh, something in this subnet. So 
that's the subnet uh, configuration and the routing tables. And um, what we also need to make this work is uh, in the EC2 instance, and I will switch to that here. We also need um, a, a IP version 6 address. Um, and you can get this in two ways. Uh, let me uh, just pick one of those, A1 public. Okay, so here uh, in the networking section we see, okay, this is our IP version 6 address, right? So it's, it's, um, it, it was automatically allocated to this instance. And there are two ways to do that. First, in the subnet, you can uh, configure that IP version uh, 6 addresses are auto-assigned. And for me, in this subnet, this is set to no. So I must explicitly, when I launch an EC2 instance, I must explicitly tell that I wanna, wanna have an IP version 6 address. If you set this to Drew here, um, then you will automatically get an IPv6 address if you launch something in this subnet. So those are the two options. So that's um, basically I don't have IPv6 here by default, um, but you can change that if you like. The only problem is that with uh, CloudFormation, you cannot set IPv4, um, uh, sorry, where is it, uh, auto sign public, um, I'm in the wrong subnet, A. So if I set auto sign uh, public IPv4 address, then I cannot auto-assign IPv6 address as well with CloudFormation. Uh, it works in the API, so if I just go here um, and I change that, you can see I can do that using the UI. Now it's set to yes, but this is not possible with CloudFormation. So I don't know why that's how it is. Um, so, okay, let's look into my EC2 instances. So I launched a four of them and I will show you a little bit how we can communicate with each other using IPv6. So let me switch um, to my terminal. Okay, so I have prepared SSH sessions to all of those four instances. And this is the, the A1 public. And as you can see, um, so that's the network configuration, I received um, two different IP version 6 addresses. And the first one so that's the IP version 6 address range of the VPC. So this, this is exactly the um, this is my um, VPC address range. And the other one, this one that starts with FE80, is a so-called link local address. And I will show you what that is in a minute. So that's the first instance. So let me switch to the next instance. And we have to now keep in mind kind of this number. So um, it, um, and, and this is the important part here, uh, Cologne 2000. Because if I switch to this other instance, then you can see this prefix stays the same because I'm in the same subnet. So this is still the A, uh, the A public subnet. If I move on to the B um, public subnet, oops, if I move on to the um, the B subnet, you will see that. This number here changes. It's no longer 2000, now it's 2002. And, and it's because now I'm a different subnet. That's why I get a different prefix. Okay, so this is how basically IP addresses look like in IP version 6. Um, and you still see I have an IP version 4 address as well. So that's that's the, 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 the trick with dual stack deployments. You, you get both addresses. So, okay, let's see how we can communicate using um, the link local address. So what I'm going to do is I will fetch the link local address of this instance. So that's the one that runs in the public subnet A. And I will ping it uh, from um, the other instance that, that runs in um, in subnet A. In the um... Okay, what, what changes is that instead of ping, you use ping six for IP version six. And what I can do here now is I can ping this instance. And what was needed um, is that I, like instead of only supplying the IP address, I also had to supply the interface on which I communicate. And that's because of the link local addresses. So you can have multiple um, uh, network interfaces and they could be on different links. So that's why I have to specify the link here as well. And I can do the uh, reverse operation as well. Um, so let me get my link local address of um, of this machine and I will uh, ping from the other side. Okay, that's working as well as you can see. 
So in as long as the instance assign the same network, you can use the link local address to talk to each other. That's kind of the private IP address in IPv6. So, but now I'm going into another subnet. And so this instance runs in a different subnet and we can see that because this uh, block here changes from 2000 to 2001. So that's definitely on a different subnet. So let me ping um, that instance from the other subnet uh, again. And um, as I already mentioned, that's not going to work because we are on different subnets and you cannot talk across subnets with the link local address. So it's not possible because um, it's in a different subnet. So let me get the, um, the public um, um, IP version 6 address and now I can ping from the other subnet as well. So as long as you use the global unique, uh, the global unicast address, it is working. So that's uh, good news. Okay, so now we are going to check if I can um, talk to the public internet. So let's um, ping uh, Google. So Google is IP version six enabled. So I can ping Google from the public subnet and this is now going through the internet gateway. So that's great. And I will also do the same from the private subnet and I will do the same command. I will ping Google and this is also working. And that's kind of what is expected, right? Because I have the egress only gateway. So let me make one change to the AWS configuration just to make sure that this really is uh, configured properly. So I'm going to remove the egress only route from the private subnet. Um, let me go here and the private subnet, the route table of the private subnet, and I will remove, I will remove the, the route here. And now I'm not able to ping Google anymore. So it's not going to work because I don't have a route to the internet anymore. So let me uh, quickly change this back. And Okay, again, as you can see, it works. I now can um, um, access the internet um, again. So that's great. So I can access the internet from the inside, but from the outside, no one can access the workloads that run in those subnets. So that's the trick with um, IP version six. Um, you can uh, communicate with each other using IP version six. If you're in the same subnet, you could use link local addresses, but remember it only works within a subnet. And besides that, you just use the global unicast address that you get assigned by AWS and then you are fine. You can communicate with each other. So that's what you get with IP version six and EC2 instances. So let me switch back to um, the slide deck. And a couple of things that I want to mention here is that um, we also have um, a blog post that covers this topic. Uh, we have a, um, a podcast episode as well that covers the same topic. So if you are interested not only in IP version 6 on EC2, if you are interested in the like the broader uh, IP version 6 deployment option, then feel free to check out the blog post as well. So it basically shows you a transition um, a, a way to transition into the IP version 6 world. So start, for example, with public facing endpoints like CloudFront and stuff like this. And then only after that, you could think about transitioning your VPC to an IP version 6 enabled one. And always keep in mind, so what are actually the benefits um, and does it, does it, uh, is it, is it, is it, is it worth the effort to implement it? Um, great. If you have any questions um, regarding IP version 6 on AWS, um, reach out to us on community.cloudonout.io where you can also find this video. And, and if you have any other questions to any other of the other videos, then feel free to also um, post there. And if you have um, feedback for us, feel free um, to also um, send me an email directly. So um, you can see my email address here. Um, you can also reach me on Twitter um, at hellomichibai is my Twitter handle. So um, many options to get in touch with us. We always love to hear from you. And um, besides that, see you next time. Thanks for watching.